I don't always buy the dip, but when I do, it's penny stocks. Okay, I just said two lies right there. I always buy the dip and I never buy penny stocks unless it's a very small portion of my portfolio. But regardless of all of that, if you clicked on this video, you want the top five stocks for 2022. And regardless of what the market does, if it spins in circles, goes down or goes up. Yeah, is this Jerome Powell? Yeah, you screwed up the markets. I thought stocks only went up. These five stocks should do very, very well. Let's get straight into it. I don't want to waste any of your precious time. But before we do, did you know that hitting the like button for me will make me 100% happier as well as subscribing to the channel, but also at the same time, help you guys to get a better return on your investments in 2022? Well, I don't know if that second part is honestly correct, but I know it will make me a whole hell of a lot happier if you guys do hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. But without any further ado, let's dive into it. The first stock that we must talk about is probably one of the safer stocks to invest in, and that is PayPal, currently sitting at $187.25 per share, down 21.2% in the past year. This stock just traded at over $300 back in the summertime of 2020. One. So you might ask yourself, with a decline like this, what has happened with the overall business to cause this? And absolutely nothing. We have not had one single negative catalyst that I am aware about. And we also see revenue growing at over 19% year over year. And for those of you guys that aren't looking for a stock to hold for a whole year or for years, which I think PayPal fits the category of a long-term investment, we also have Q4 earnings that are coming here in the near-term future. And Q4 PayPal earnings are always higher than Q3 by a substantial amount. As you guys can see, the basically candlestick of quarterly earnings is always higher Q4 than what Q3 is by a substantial amount. And it's very obvious to see when you're looking at this chart. So looking good in that aspect, as far as total revenue in 2020, PayPal was at $21.4 billion, total profit $4.2 billion with a profit margin of 24%. So pretty good, not great, not bad by any means, but definitely on the higher end as far as paypal users they have grown their user base over 100 percent since 2015 to through uh through 2020 so looking good in all aspects and overall i expect paypal to continue growing for years to come and this is really a long-term buy and hold for me but i think it'll outpace the markets in 2022 the second stock out of this list is going to be sofi technologies and this is one of my favorite stocks and i've been buying the dip like no other in SoFi. You guys can see SoFi is down almost 27% in the last year, just trading in early November at about $23 per share, down $10 per share since then. So SoFi is at a significant discount. And also what has happened with the business of SoFi? Nothing. Nothing has happened. And SoFi is at a very attractive valuation. Just taking a look at the revenue numbers for 2021, SoFi is going to exceed $1 billion in annualized run rate revenue and now has $4.6 billion in capital. And that was as of November 10th, 2021. And there is really so much I could say about SoFi that gives me this bullish sediment and we will make a whole video on that so if you guys are interested in learning all about sofi like i personally am make sure to subscribe to the channel and when that video comes out you guys will be notified right away but let's take a glimpse into the future sofi's revenue in 2025 is expected to be 3.7 billion dollars and we're just going to read this right here it says the analyst post that from about 800 million in annual sales today sofi will grow more than 3.5 times over the next four years reaching that 3.7 billion dollars in revenues by 2025 those are crazy numbers three and a half times this company will grow by in the next four years this is a growth stock by definition and for sofi to be valued at less than 12 billion dollar market cap it is a substantial 
deal right now. And that's exactly why I've been buying the dip in SoFi. As far as analyst price targets, $30 on the high end and $18 on the low end. So you are almost $5 under the lowest price target on Wall Street with 37.5% of analysts saying it is a strong buy, 37.5% saying a buy, and 25% saying a hold. I think it's pretty clear SoFi is one to own in 2022. The third stock to buy in 2022 is going to be Snapchat. And this is one of my favorites, especially since they are down 32.48% in the past year, currently sitting at $38.32 per share. Snapchat is certainly a strong buy at these levels with a market cap of $61.78 billion. Take a look at Snapchat's revenue. They just hit over $1 billion of quarterly revenue Q3 2021 and Q4 2021 is going to be even better than Q3. Why is that? Because everybody was advertising for holiday spenders. So Snapchat's Q4 earnings and revenue should be a positive catalyst but take a look at the forecast to 2027 by 2027 snapchat will have gone from 4.3 billion dollars of revenue in 2021 all the way to 14.8 billion dollars of revenue just six years later that is a two and a half times increase to revenue and just next year alone they're projected to go to 5.3 billion and then 2023 to be at 6.7 billion dollars of revenue this is a high growth stock by definition and i think this trend will likely continue these young kids they use snapchat they go in snapchat group chats they watch the snapchat uh, short stories that obviously have a ton of ads on them. They use Snapchat way more than something like Facebook. So Snapchat is going to take a lot of users from Facebook over time. And that's a reason to be very bullish. But as far as analysts, we have 42 analysts that have rated the stock with a general consensus of buy. 28.57% of these analysts rated Snapchat a hold, 50% rated it a buy, and 21.43% rated it a strong buy. The high price target is $104 per share. The average price target is $71.07 per share. And the low price target is $45 per share. So we are about $8 under the low price target for Snapchat. So certainly Snapchat seems to be very undervalued at the current moment and does have an institutional ownership of about 60%. The fourth stock that is certainly a buy that should outpace the markets in 2022 is going to be AMD. AMD currently sits at $132.69 per share and has not had a bad year whatsoever, but 2022 is going to be even better for the stock. And we do have another near-term catalyst, which is Q4 earnings. As we do know, a lot of people get gaming computers that have AMD processors in them. So that should boast well for AMD earnings. But as far as where AMD, where AMD earnings actually sit right now, in 2019, AMD did do $6.73 billion of total revenue. In 2020, that jumped up to $9.76 billion of total revenue. I would imagine AMD's revenue is going to be in between $12 and $13 billion for 2021. Those numbers are not finalized just yet, but by 2025, AMD hopes to earn $22 billion in yearly revenue. From 2020 to 2025, that is over a 100% gain in revenue for the business, and AMD is already profitable, so a lot of that will go straight to the bottom line. And I think markets are going to continue to price in a strong couple of years for AMC to come and even possibly longer than that. So certainly AMD is a buy. But what do the analysts say about AMD? 12.5% say it's a strong buy, 45% say it's a buy, and 42.5% say it's a hold with an average rating uh, by 40 analysts as a buy. The high price target is $180 per share, the average is $143.63, and the low price target is $101.50 per share, clearly making AMD a strong pick for 2022.
Last but certainly not least is going to be Affirm, sitting at $72 flat and down over 50% from its all-time highs at about $168.52 per share in a relatively fast amount of time. So there definitely is a bounce trade here at the very least, but rev but revenue and growth projections for Affirm look very very strong and as far as the last quarter earnings the stock actually skyrocketed after they did report a 71 percent revenue growth and did issue strong guidance the blockbuster earnings report comes after a firm's last month announced it's teaming up with amazon to launch the e-commerce giants first partnership with an installment payment player buy now pay la later their revenue was 261.8 million dollars versus the 225 million dollars that was expected so revenue is going to barely top over 1 billion dollars for 2021 once we do get q4 earnings we will have an exact number for the revenue for the year but that partnership with amazon could be huge and my personal running theory with a firm is that a lot of people are used to spending a lot of money and now that stimulus is gone they're still going to want to live this lifestyle that they have over the past two years and they're going to turn to buy now pay later because if they cannot afford something they can buy it now and then Pay later so I think that's a lot of this theory here and sitting at $72 per share it definitely looks like a steal now let's take a look at what the analysts are saying 7.69% say a firm is a buy 46.15% say or, or a, a strong buy excuse me 46.15% say a firm is a buy 38.46% say a hold and 7.69% say underperform but the issue is there's only 13 analysts that are actually covering the stock with a low price target of $72 per share where we are currently sitting at an average price target of $146.36 per share and a high price target of $220 per share so this is really a long-term buy and hold for me as this space is rapidly growing and as a firm should grow very well with their amazon partnership but that is also another near-term catalyst once a firm actually does launch on the amazon platform i think it goes without saying the revenue increase that a firm is about to see so those are the top five stocks to buy for 2022 if you want to outpace the markets feel free to let me know what your top stocks are you are buying in 2022 and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel on your way out thank you for watching until next time